I think one one of the things that's really interesting is you mentioned um, increasing data in around six months time. Now I'm, I'm very badly paraphrasing here, but I think you you essentially mentioned watch your space. There's going to be more clients who are interested in this particular um, in this particular area. What what do you think is the main incentive? for organizations trying to get into this space or engaging with Greyfly in this space. And what I mean by that is I couldn't agree more with the, the fact that you're saying, you know, if you're a smaller company and you've only got three or four uh, um, project managers or people in your organization, let's say, you might not necessarily want to be investing millions of pounds, which, yeah, makes complete sense. So the question is in two parts. Number one is what is driving organizations to be interested in this particular area but number two what, what are we doing about the smaller companies because are we are we just really kind of targeting the large companies so th those yeah who wants to pick that I, I, i'll probably start but i know marcia will have some views on it as well and um you know to answer your question what's driving it in in in, in the world that we live in it's it's pounds shillings and pence or you know money is is the real driver and savings of money is the real driver uh, uh um so 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 you know companies are after, after saving you know from their bottom line i think there's some sub drivers so and, and bizarrely enough i actually think covid has contributed you know as well because it's made things more digital you know so gone are the days certainly I, obviously i don't look this old but when when we, i was into sort of project planning you'd have a large brown bit of paper on the wall with post-it notes trying to work out the critical path um, or even just the work breakdown structure for a plan now now you have to do that online now as soon as that's online that means you've got a digital asset so in other words it, you know our first step of where do we get the data from just becomes that little step um, 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 earlier and i think if you then go back up a level and think about the phrases like digital transformation you know which is all about driving efficiency you know that's the that's the other sub driver so but ultimately it comes comes back from money um the, 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 uh, i'll let marcia chip in in a second but in terms of your second point about you know where does that leave smaller companies um I, I, I think this goes back to you know the type of technology we're we're talking about here is innovative it, it, it is still groundbreaking and it starts with a higher cost. Yeah, we have got high costs to develop the products and, and only the larger companies can afford those higher costs. Also, only larger companies tend to go outside for, for, for this type of service. You know, a smaller company, it, it tends to work on a very much a needs basis, you know, so it may not even have an accounts package. It may not even have a project planning tool or it's, you know, more Excel based type type stuff. So so it is sort of, you know, pure economics in terms of of uh, of the reason why it's the domain of larger companies. I think. You know, it goes back to that, that this is very early in this life cycle of this technology. And, and over time, products will emerge, which are far more accessible for smaller companies. You know, again, not quite sure where that time window is. You know, back to that point earlier that Marcia said about the number of products. You know, it, you know, we all know Monday.com. Well, you know, let's not forget it's only been around a couple of years. You know, but it's completely accessible now as well. So you, you'll get this proliferation of products and, and even those type of products, they will be adding the AI dimension into their into their base builds as well. So 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 it will start creeping into smaller pro projects. But in terms of this very dedicated prediction piece, that's really the domain of, of larger companies. Um, Marcy, I don't know whether you've got stuff to add to that. I would agree with what Lloyd said in terms of digital transformation driving um, a lot of companies to think about um, how they're managing their projects now, particularly from a, a COVID perspective. So they've accelerated those uh, transformations and, they, and they're really keen to um, think about new ways of managing projects and taking advantage of their data more. And I would also um, agree as well with the, the point about smaller companies. Um, 
the thing with smaller companies as well is they don't have that um they don't necessarily have the capability in-house to have a data science team they they may not have the technical resources to build a cloud architecture um so there is definitely um i think we we have something to offer for the smaller companies in terms of them being able to come on board to a solution which is you know you know ready for them and and uh um, it may not be able to, they may not be able to, to do um, everything that a larger company would do in terms of the amount of data that they can provide. But um, by coming on board to our solution early, um, it's going to encourage them to improve their processes so that they can in the longer term.